parts of the world with a huge range of wonderful experience. What are you concerned about with treating animals? Everything they need to know about what to expect from homeopathy. So a healthy cat will not drink water. We were approached to ask to help prevent the outbreak of dengue fever. These are called the early warning signs of illness. Can be seen long before they manifest in blood tests. And the baby was about two months old, refused her milk. But they do because they are freaking out and then the child absorbs that panic and that fear from them. People will say, oh, I've been giving it. It doesn't hurt my animal. It can hurt them at any time. It looks like it's really high because it's being held in suspension. But actually, it's a zinc deficiency. It's usually the Hashimoto's people who have these more complex pictures. I need the manufacturer and the lot number, and I'm going to clear that one specifically. And see if the animal will decide for themselves if they need to take that remedy. That one is potentially able to be cured in autism. The thymoma completely disappeared after one dose. Now, as veterinarians, we're lucky, and as human homeopaths treating animals, you're lucky you can treat cancer. Treating everything from tumors to accidents to um, heart conditions. And everybody wanted homeopathy, even if they could afford them at Western Medical Drugs. And after five minutes, I said, can you please try and breastfeed your baby again? Guess what? She could breastfeed the baby. The baby, the baby accepted the milk. And she called me up because she said, I went to every parent whose child had been healed, and I said, what did you do? How was your child healed? She said, every one of them said homeopathy. I was blown away when she said that. And they were walking miles, days, to the slum clinics in order to be treated because they knew it worked. You get a child, you get some improvements with them, you get the whole family. And nothing could be better because then you see Madeira America coming alive. And if 150 village pastors with very little training can prescribe accurately and effectively and treat acute and chronic disease for over 100 years, well, what, what else can we achieve? We've been educated, we have the tools and skills to really take our medicine much, much further afield, don't we? Yes. Excellent, yes. right.